<sighs> okay. Test, 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 test. Some coffee. It's like 20 degrees outside. Why do I live somewhere where it's so cold? I don't get it. Ah, might make it. <clears throat> might, might make it. Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And on today's episode, I got that guitar for $35. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. That's not clickbait, you heard it right. That guitar was $35. But it comes with a disclaimer. I got it from uh, Goodwill. It's a uh, used guitar. It's actually basically brand new. This is the Donner DST 100 uh, guitar. You can still buy these brand new from the Donner Deal website. And uh, earlier, I had reviewed this guitar here, the DST 400. Uh, you can check that out in the link in the description. And uh, basically, I couldn't turn down this deal for $35. That was shipping included. The buy now price on that was $19.99. So with your uh, sort of your donation, your handling fees, and all that stuff through Goodwill, it came to $34 and I don't know 90 some cents. So basically 35 bucks. So today we're going to talk about this guitar and we're going to talk about the differences between this guitar and that guitar and we're also going to talk about why these guitars are really good especially for the beginner player. So let's get started. Okay as I mentioned these are from Donner and Donner is kind of like uh, Hal Leonard or one of those types of discount musical supply houses but they've got all their own branded uh equipment and so this particular guitar that i bought for 35 dollars uh is this this here this is the donner dst 100 and it is a full-size stratocaster style guitar uh, the body, depending on where you read, the body is either basswood or poplar. I'm guessing it's poplar. Basswood is so incredibly lightweight. And it, I made, I built my first Telecaster guitar out of basswood. And uh, it was you know, it was so light and it dents really easily. So I, obviously these have a real, you know, hard candy shell. And so, uh, but I think it's, I think it's probably poplar. It's got a little weight to it. Uh, the neck is maple. Uh, fretboard is some odd wood that I've never heard of. Now on the Donner website, you get this as a package. You get this sort of cheesy little amp. You get a tuner, a chord, a capo, strings, picks, uh, tremolo bar, Allen wrench, gig bag, all that stuff. Oh, and some free online courses. Can't turn that down. All for the low, low price of $206. So I was fortunate enough to find this guitar on Goodwill, on the Goodwill Auctions site, not, a not at one of my local stores, but if you go to Goodwill Auctions, you can find some really good deals sometime. And I filtered my search for Buy It Now, because a lot of the uh, items on Goodwill Auctions are, as the name implies, an auction. Well, they will list certain items as a Buy It Now, probably just to get, to get rid of stuff. Usually the buy it now stuff isn't all that great. It's like, you know, rogue uh, brand uh, acoustic guitars or nylon string acoustic guitars that are like really, really super cheap and really, really entry level and like toy guitars and ukuleles and things like that. And but every once in a while you can get these really good deals and I got a really good deal on this guitar. So let's check it out. Here it is. This is it in real life. Whoops, let me switch back to my full screen here so you can see everything in all its detail. There we go. That's it, look at the finish on that. Beautiful, beautiful finish. It's got magnetic pickups, single coil, and then uh, the humbucker. It looks like that humbucker is wax potted. 
so these these might be as well it's super quiet for you know what it is and uh let's see what else can i say about it uh they're they're just the magnetic pickups they're not el nico pickups but they sound really good really nice uh neck maple neck i like the grain in it a lot of times you get these maple necks that are just they don't have much character to them but this one's really nice look at that it's still got the plastic and this is literally like somebody got it for christmas played it you know for an hour decided this ain't for me and donated it to goodwill because this is like fresh out of the box brand new guitar so there's the donner it doesn't say dst 100 on the headstock but it says standard what does it say standard series that's the uh dst 100 the fretboard is gorgeous it looks it's like so dark it looks like an ebony fretboard but it's not and it's not rosewood either it's this here let's check it out it's this strange wood that i've never heard of if i can find it there it is so these are the these are the sort of the specs and the comparison between the dst 100 and the dst 400 and it says body material poplar neck uh maple fretboard perilla never heard of it but it's beautiful i don't think it's manufactured wood i think it's it's got grain in it so so let's go through this real quick since we're here uh full block six saddle i don't even know what that means full block Does, are they referring to the the tremolo block in the back which is not a full block it's a very very small block uh and these come in different colors this is the sunburst one and you come it comes with all this stuff i like that the there's a little tr uh language translation issues with the the downer website um spit body better <laughs> smooth frets which we'll get into that they're not exactly smooth uh depends on what side of the fret you're talking about give some more see now here it says fingerboard purple heart see that's what i mean it's depending on where you read it says different things about the uh, specs uh it says synthetic bone for the that could be that could be a tusk a tusk nut uh which i guess is cool and what else bright and warm sounds i always like that bright and warm bright lights are bright <laughs> can sound be bright <laughs> and warm <laughs> can sound warm you up <laughs> it's like 20 degrees outside right now i would like some warm sound so anyway that's that uh let's get back to this here uh again pretty decent tuning tuning keys they're a little stiff uh it's got these uh the little string trees are are real they're the vintage style they're just the bent metal nothing spectacular the, i mean the hardware is good on it it's not totally chintzy but it's i mean it's you know and they always put the plastic behind the plate i don't know what that's all about i'm not a fan of that but i'll leave it it's got that plate on the back haven't taken that off yet um Again, this paint job is super awesome. Um, this one has the sort of the newer style cast saddles, whereas the DST 400 has the bent metal saddles, which I actually like the bent metal saddles because they look more vintage. And then you just your plastic controls and whatnot. So let's stop talking and see how it sounds might be might be slightly out of tune that's in the middle position sit back so you can actually see So I am going through Reaper, um, DAW, uh, using Amplitude 4. I think I've got like the British tone amp on there, amp model. And uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good. A 
again, if I could play real good, you'd know what this sounded like. I love that. That's... Is that your warm tone? That's warm, and this is bright. Usually that's... Ooh. So yeah, a great guitar for not a lot of money. Um, so my thoughts about pricing and how they kind of, they add these, you know, other items to like to make a package deal. They got that little amp and all that other stuff. So really you're paying $200 for this guitar. So I would Google search on maybe eBay, Goodwill auctions. I mean, I, this was a rare, you know, Goodwill Auctions doesn't like typically have these, but you can get these on probably Reverb and eBay at quite a discount um, because, you know, these are an entry level guitar. A lot of times people buy the guitar for their kids and then they play it for a little bit and then it ends up getting sold or whatever. So if you can find one of these for less than uh, the retail price on Donner website i would highly recommend it it's a really really good guitar um so there you go that's what a 35 dollar guitar sounds like so let's compare it to the dst 400 and uh just see how they compare so right off the bat the, the dst 400 is heavier because it's an alder alder body so let's go back to our our thing here this is the dst 400 these were on sale for i think i got this guitar for 150 right around 150 dollars over the holidays through uh, i think it was ebay but it was through don i mean donner's had it listed on ebay and it was drastically marked down so i didn't pay uh, I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, this one only comes with the guitar chords, Allen wrenches, tremolo bar, or, you know, the bar actually, and, uh, uh, strap. It my oh yes, it did come with the, the gig bag. So you get all that for 240 bucks. So, so it's kind of hard to compare the two price wise because the DST 100, they threw all this extra stuff in there to make it feel like you're getting, you know, more for your money. But really, that guitar, this guitar is only $40 more than that guitar. So if you're going to go on Donner's website and purchase one of these guitars and pay full price for it, get this one. Get the DST 400. But if you're looking for an entry-level guitar, try to find one of those, the DST 400 on the secondary market. And so let's see, specs, C-shaped neck. Uh, this has got the humbucker and coil tap, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got the bent saddles, which I like. Uh, solid alder body, uh, heavy, but not super heavy. Uh, let's see. Alder, maple, Indian laurel for the fretboard. Okay, so let's check it out real quick. Uh, let me get back to my... There we go. Okay, so this one has really cool vintage uh, tuning keys on it, which I really like. Those are neat. Uh, it's got some, a little more detail in it. They, they've put serial numbers on them. And it's made in China, of course. They're all made in China. Uh, this oh, this one has the skunk stripe, which is pretty cool. Kind of makes it look like a vintage, vintage guitar. Uh, branded on the front. This has the sort of a laser cut uh, heel plate. I don't think the plastic is on there. Maybe I took it off. I don't think it is. I don't think it was on there. And then this thing here. This is all sort of cream, 
cream color, just not bright white like that. These are Alnico pickups, so that's kind of cool. We got the sun blaring in. <laughs> the sun! Ah. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, so let's see, what else? Um, yeah, so this is a really good guitar, and uh, see how it compares in sound to the DST 100. Totally out of tune. Totally out of tune. has quite a bit better tone than the DST 100. Okay, so let's throw a little dirt on this one. the Donner DST 400 and uh, I like the fact that this one's so light I think the early uh, Telecasters were made out of pine of course pine back then was old growth dense probably heavier than what you see now So here it is several hours later. Uh, I was just about to give my final thoughts on the Donner DST-100 and my phone rang and I got called away. So uh, so let me talk about uh, some things that uh, maybe aren't so great about this guitar and to give you my final thoughts. One thing that I noticed about this guitar, which uh, I've noticed about uh, on a few of the of cheaper guitars that I I've purchased and uh, some cheaper uh, like replacement necks that I've bought the Chinese made necks that I've bought is that the edges of the frets are pretty sharp so you could feel these and after playing for a while you get those little tiny not really paper cuts they're not that deep they're just they just like like your cat scratched you or something <laughs> and I don't know if that's a flaw in the manufacturing where they didn't quite take the time to do the fit and finish quite properly or if it's that the you know that they maybe work with wood that's not quite totally cured yet or whatever and that maybe the wood shrinks and it reveals the edges of these frets I'm not exactly sure uh, I haven't seen that on a lot of finished guitars I've purchased some uh, replacement necks uh, just cheap Chinese necks off of Amazon or eBay or whatever and they had like one of the first guitars I ever built I used a, a you know a pre-made neck and it had that sort of rough edge to it so other than that the fit and finish on this guitar is is really nice everything seems uh, 
to be quite well made. It'd be interesting to take it apart and see, see how it's made. And uh, it's a little neck heavy, pretty, pretty well balanced. Again, if you're going to pay full sort of retail price, I guess, from the Donner website, go ahead and purchase the DST 400. Fit and finish on that is amazing. It's a very well made guitar, sounds amazing. Uh, it's got that split coil pickup on it, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you could find one of these secondary, uh, then, and if you can get it for less than a hundred dollars, then this would be a fabulous guitar. I think Donner has kind of missed the mark a little bit by bundling all that extra crap, I guess you could say, with this guitar, like that little tiny amp. You're, I mean, it's, it's almost like a toy, that little amp. You're not going to really get a good tone out of that little amp. And then all the other crap that they include in there is kind of kind of pointless, I think. So if they would market this guitar as, you know, even $115 or, you know, $99 or something like that and compete with some of the other uh, very inexpensive guitars that are listed on like Amazon and whatnot, then they could probably sell a ton of these things. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is. So, you know, those are my thoughts. It's a really good guitar this one back here the where is it right there dst 400 it, i think it's far superior guitar to this it's got a solid alder body a um, little bit better fit and finish you don't have those sharp fret ends sounds to me a little bit better it's got just a just a little more professional sounding tone to it it's it's a little you know, it's, I don't know. I think it just, it's a little bit better. So there you go. I appreciate everybody watching and uh, we'll see you next time here on the Guitar Dungeon. So yes, that's not clickbait. I actually got that guitar for $35. One, I don't know what I'm saying. Hey everybody, G. <laughs> not clickbait. I actually got that guitar for $35. But it does come... What am I trying to say? <laughs> what is it? It comes with a catch? It comes with a... Caveat. I don't like that word. Caveat. It sounds like caviar. Uh, comes with a... Disclaimer. Ha <laughs> ha!